Welcome to my new house. Now I know a lot of you have been wanting to watch this episode and it's taken a little bit longer, but I think we're finally there. So come on in. Our wall here is made out of real wood. So it's really cool. It's got really nice texture. It just gives it an extra pop. Then here we have the TV room, which was supposed to be a sofa. And then we decided Kaya doesn't really have a playroom. This room kind of transferred into her playroom. And now, we're going to go into our pride and joy room, which is the living room, aka the adult room. So here we have our lovely living room. Ta-da! Okay, so now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs where we have Kaya's bedroom, the master bedroom. I'm gonna take you through the hallway. You guys remember the staircase. This eventually we're gonna change because we need to childproof this and make this um, mirror. So we're gonna take this out and take out the wood um, to give it more of a modern feel, but also child friendly because that is something that's really important in the house. We're gonna go to Kaya's bedroom first. Here in the hallway, you can see we have a lot of mood lighting here. We have lights coming from the stairs. I'm gonna flip you around and show you our wonderful chandelier that's hanging here. I thought that was really nice. This is Kaya's private laundry. So this is the fire exit. This just goes out to the staircase. It's really good to have a fire exit because when we have workers here coming to do our construction and stuff like that, they can just come through here. All right, so this is Kaya's room. She has her own hallway too. So ta-da! This is Kaya's hallway. So here, we got these lovely pictures from uh, Cutie Little Things. Shout out to Cutie Little Things. They always have really good baby stuff too, especially uh, deco for nurseries. They have a very classy, traditional taste, which I love. Um, this was, um, this is Kaya's, obviously Kaya's name to say that this is her room. This was from Ikea. And what I did was I ordered these knobs myself from Lazada. I thought these were really cute. Um, Kaya has a collection coming out with Snow Owl and it's all about a dragonfly because a dragonfly resembles a new life, a new beginning. So I chose that for Kaya's collection. So I thought this would be really cute as well because I feel like this resembles Kaya, a dragonfly. So there's meaning behind this. And these um, also from Lazada, I just changed that up and it, it just looks so much more better and different. And here we also have a set of drawers. I did the same thing. On top here we have um, a sterilizer. We have one downstairs and we have one upstairs. Here we just sterilize her Elmo or any kind of stuffed toys or things that we need to do from her room up here. This is her medicine cabinet and just like her stock cabinet of like all these things. Because when you have a baby you have to have stock. And this uh, again was just like blankets, bed sheets and stuff that we've put down here. So this is really useful to have. And we're gonna take you to her hallway. This was built, there was nothing here. So we specially custom made Kaya's closets here. I wanted a black and white traditional feel. This is Kaya's current closet. These are all the clothes that she can fit right now. The clothes that she can't fit yet are stored somewhere else. So this baby has a lot of clothes, let me tell you. I try to color coordinate, although it gets a bit crazy. So we try to keep things a bit organized. This is her closet. And this is her accessory closet, which might turn out to be, I don't know, one day her t-shirt closet or whatever. But she have her sunglasses here. She's got hats and hat toys that she's old enough, not that she's not old enough to play with. These are all her carriers, baby carriers. These are things that we're not really using right now. And below we have her shoes. So now we're gonna go into the nursery. Ta-da! This is Kaya's nursery. So we have her crib here which got given to me by my friend Pai Lin. Shout out to Pai Lin because this really helps and it's a lovely crib. This is from Cutie Little Things, her little canopy here. This is a mosquito net 
which we actually don't only use for decoration. We use it because, you know, you live in Thailand, there's a lot of mosquitoes. And we have the baby camera, obviously, which we use a lot, which I actually had to cut a hole out in the mosquito net to fix it in. And here we have an extra bed in case any of us wants to sleep in here with Kaya. Kaya's nanny used to sleep in here, but Kaya now sleeps alone and Nanny G sleeps downstairs now. But this is an extra bed just in case she ever gets sick or we feel like sleeping with her. Engraved as well are her pillowcases here. These are supposed to be in the crib, but I don't want to put too many things in her crib. I'm scared of suffocation, so I limit the amount of things that are in her crib. We have on this side, air purifier from Biaba, which I think it's really important, especially if you live in Thailand too, because air is not that good. And we have her books up here. She has her stuffed toys. These little um, boxes are just filled with different kind of stuff. We just put stuff away here. Here, this is her changing table. Yes, she has a huge TV in her room because this was actually kind of like a guest room and we didn't want to take it out because then there's like a hole in the wall. So we just kind of left it. Even though we limit Kaya to screen time, we don't really give her that much screen time. So this has not really been used yet. We have interesting kind of windows here because I've never really seen this in any other house. I do wish that our windows were slightly bigger, but I think it looks pretty good in here. We have the wood wall here as well. You'll see this throughout the house. Almost every room has the wood wall against the white brick. We also painted this all white because it wasn't before. We wanted a more modern look as I told you. So yeah, Kaya has her own room and her own hallway and her own bathroom. Let's go. This is Kaya's bathroom. Very nice, she has everything here. She's got her bathtub here. So this is where we bathe Kaya every night. Her Biaba bathtub is here. We have her waterproof books, toys, shampoo and everything here. As you can see, she's a little bit of a princess. She has her Kaya robe here and here we have another station where we just keep all towels and extra cotton wool and soaps and stuff. And this was um, a picture that I hung on top of the toilet, which I thought was really kind of appropriate for Kaya's room. It's all the small details that you must remember when you decorate a house. The picture on top of the toilet, like people don't do that a lot, but I'm a very detailed person, so I pay attention to a lot of detail. Next, we're gonna go into my walk-in closet and bedroom. All right, so now we're gonna come into the master bedroom, which also has um, our walk-in closet, my walk-in closet. Okay, so this here took forever to do, okay? This is my walk-in closet. Um, we attached these doors here because this used to be another room. There used to be a Jack and Jill room here, um, I guess if we were gonna have two kids, but we're only having one baby, so we turned this into a walk-in closet. This, I got Carpet Express to make. Um, this is a company that custom makes carpets. They have a whole bunch of carpets too, and um, they made this to fit, and I thought this was a really important thing. I definitely wanted a nice fluffy carpet in my walk-in closet. So these doors too, I wanted a French kind of like black and white door. I wanted everything to be quite traditional in here, but yet luxurious, luxurious, and also clean and white and just really girly. That you can see also is a photo that got printed onto canvas of P. George Tada took of me when I was five, six months pregnant. You guys have seen that in my YouTube episodes before. P. George framed it for me and gave it to me as a gift before I had Kaya. So he's very dear to me. P. George has shot me throughout my whole career and followed me through many steps of my life. So this was really important for me to hang here. Um, when you come in here, I try to color coordinate my clothes. Really hard to do, but I try my best. So. <laughs> So not only do I try to color coordinate my clothes, but I also coordinate my hangers. And this is from Magic Hangers, and they are really, really good. They're made out of velvet, so they don't slip. Uh, I figured if I'm gonna spend money on making a nice closet, I should definitely commit and have nice hangers too. So I only use the same hangers, which I thought was a nice touch, because having different colored hangers would just take away the the glam from this room, you know? So here I have all my clothes. These drawers, um, I was really adamant about wanting to put mirror on them. I just feel like it looks really traditional and nice. Um, it was definitely a process doing this closet room. 
it was not as easy, but it was definitely worth it. Here is my vanity glam area, and I wanted to keep it, you know, kind of clean, simple, and I custom made um, this mirror here. I definitely wanted that border mirror kind of feel, and I got it to match my full length mirror here because every walk-in closet needs a full length mirror, right? So that got put up on the wall. That was kind of a process too, but it got installed really well and really fast. So this is where I do my glam and my makeup. Sometimes I sit here and I have my coffee. I reply emails, messages when I wake up. When Kaya takes a nap, I like to sit in here after I've showered and just decompress and just have me time. This is kind of like, I would say my woman cave. <laughs> so yeah, this is where I do my glam. Here we have even more clothes. Um, I put my very prized bags up here. This is also to remind me that I've worked hard in the years and some were a gift. One of them I paid for myself. So it just kind of reminds me that, and I like nice things. I'm not scared to admit that. So, and here are some of my winter clothes. We also have another winter closet somewhere because between me and John, we have so much winter clothes and that came from me just living in cold countries and just traveling a lot. I'm so happy I finally get to see all my bags here. In my old house, they were just kind of like thrown in there, but at least now I can kind of see everything. So that makes things a lot easier. I can see my award. This also makes me feel so good. You know, when I have days when I'm like, I don't feel good. I don't feel great. I look on this and I'm like, you know what? I had I had good times and I hope to still have good times. So this is um, definitely a shelf that goes up on top. Here we covered the aircon because we didn't really want to see it. Um, it was kind of worked out in the end that it got put up above the door so that I had more closet space. And then I have my chandelier up here, which matches the chandelier in the staircase that you just saw. So they kind of match. The lighting in here is great. There's a lot of natural light in here too to do makeup. Really sunny right now, but um, it has good natural light. It has a good, nice, clean feeling in here. And I love that I can just see all my clothes. So my whole thing with this amazing closet too is that I wanted something functional as well. Not something that just looks really nice. So a friend of mine that has this amazing company called Opus, I will put all his contacts below. He actually does these things to help organize your closet um, and so he helped me kind of figure out like he asked me how many necklaces do I have how many watches do I have how many rings do I have roughly about how much and he custom made this um, for me I don't have a lot of jewelry I do but I wouldn't say I'm a huge jewelry person or a watch person um, I just used one drawer for my jewelry and I think it's really good to be able to see everything because for that I had everything just kind of packed away and then I realized I never use it now when I have it out like this I feel like I use so much more of my jewelry I'd be like oh my god I didn't know I had that so this was custom made with gray suede because I kind of wanted it to match the carpet in here and it's really really heavy too so you can see it's made very well you know there's really not that many expensive things in there all right and then moving around this is really interesting i love this because this was another thing i had which was i could never see my sunglasses and i love sunglasses Ta-da! so opus made these for me too basically my friend art just asked me like how many sunglasses do you have i said i have a lot so i dedicated two drawers to my sunglasses so i can see all of them i still have some space here um these are these are so handy because now i can see See all the sunglasses that I want and all they did was deliver this thing here it's like a tray and he just put it in my drawer and we were done so they just came over here to measure and so there's a lot of hidden compartments that actually make a lot of sense because they're really well organized which I think is the key to a walk-in closet is organization so you can see everything all right so then this part goes into our bedroom you're probably wondering too like where's John's closet it's not in here. Let's go see his closet. This is John's closet, which is... <laughs> okay, it looks... It's not too messy. It's kind of all right. It's very clean, actually, to what it usually looks like in here. We turned this into his closet, which is great because then you can swing it shut. 
And then when you close John's closet, here we built a nook, like a reading nook where we can sit and relax and chill. John reads his books here sometimes. Um, these are old pictures from our old house. Kind of liked it because it's Muhammad Ali shows like really masculine strength and then you have a picture of a nun smoking a cigarette which i guess shows purity with some dark side to it i like pictures that kind of are quite out there so we hung these up here these were all put in i kind of wanted that traditional feel too and it's really great because john sits here to read uh, sometimes kaya is sitting here with us too and this room we also closed off because it goes to the aircon unit and we use this as a storage room to just keep all our stuff suitcases um, stuff that we don't need um, yeah, it's a real mess in here but the good thing is we don't have to see it so we close it off and here is ta-da our bedroom so this bed we had um we i refurbished this bed we turned it into more of a cream color because it was previously blue i wanted to work with really natural colors i didn't want a lot of color that's what we did with the bed i hung the mirror up there that we had previously in our hallway in our old house because I felt like the wall was just kind of bare and something needed to go on there. I'm still trying to go for that hotel feel. I always kind of gear towards that, although this house is a little bit more New York, like New York lofty, I guess. And so every room we have a TV because why? This family loves to watch TV. And here we just have like a sitting area with a plant that we just bought. Uh, this chair was from H&M. H&M Home, which just opened up in Thailand. So as soon as they opened up, I was there because I love H&M and I'm half Swedish. So I've grown up with that. Not too expensive, really reasonably priced and really modern looking. Carpet was from my husband's old house that we just reused again. And yeah, we just wanted a really big bed and comfy bed and a high bed too. I love sleeping on a high bed. I've always slept on a really high bed. So that's kind of like my thing. Do you remember in, when we did an episode here, you guys saw a bathtub here that we were trying to sell and get rid of. Well, we never sold it because no one wanted it because it was super expensive, but we got it out of the way. And this is exactly what we wanted. We did not want a bathtub in the middle of our bedroom because it was just a bit too much so this is just an empty space interesting part about this bedroom too is that we can open up here almost like a balcony like this and there you go you we can see right down to our living room so if we want extra airflow, we open up here and it just kind of gives it a more like airy feeling. So this is really cool. We're going to have to block this off though eventually when Kaya get older because this is definitely not childproof. So we're going to have to lock these doors and we plan to remove this and put glass here. That would be the next step when we have more money. But yes, so this is the master bedroom and I think last I'm showing you our master bathroom. Okay, so now we're gonna come into my master bathroom. It's really nothing to like wow, but um, I have a massive shower, which is great. So we renovated this. Um, previous to this, we all we had was like a mirror and I realized there is way too much skincare in here for there just to be a mirror without a shelf. So we decided to add this on um, and this is John's side and to just be functional, you know, like have a mirror and then have space behind it to keep all your skincare because it's the same thing with your clothes. You want to see all your skincare, right? So this we added. We also added um, extra drawers, uh, sorry, shelves here because previous to that there was nothing under here so we needed more storage space so this was put in by us. I do wish we had two sinks. That's like my husband's dream but we have one for now so <laughs> eventually we want to do the dual sink which by the way I've never actually had in any of my houses so that's maybe another mission. I got the fans so maybe now we got to get the dual sink. And then here this ladder has come with me to all my houses and it's just like a nice way I think to just kind of put your towels on so when you get out the shower if your towel is dirty you just throw it and you just grab a new one here and yeah this rug here was from lounge lovers and I think because of the way this bathroom is built it's very kind of narrow so it was hard to find a rug that could fit but lounge lovers had a bunch of rugs that we put here which um, I think fit really nicely and here you come in 
And then we have, ta-da, our big shower. So we have, again, two sets of showers. And then we have both uh, places to put a lot of our like washing gels and stuff because I'm a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to toiletries. But yes, we have this same tiling here, which I haven't really decided how I feel about it yet. People either love it or they don't. I am okay with it, but eventually I hope to kind of turn this into marble maybe. Kind of want a marble feel here, but I think this is pretty good for now. The crazy thing is we have two doors that comes into our shower. So this door out here then leads to our bedroom. So we could come in this way from our bedroom, but then how are you gonna take off your clothes, right? Or maybe you could take them off and then throw them there. So you can either come in this way or ta-da, you're gonna come in this way. <laughs> so I guess that's kind of interesting about this shower. I wish we had a bathtub, but we ran out of space. Although we do plan to turn this shower into a steam shower eventually. Now we're kind of researching how we could make this into a shower steam. My husband runs every day, so when he comes back from his run, he wants to sit in a steam room. That's like another thing we need to do in our list. So we're kind of done, but not. So this is the master bathroom. And I think this is about it, guys. Yeah, this is our new house. I hope you like it. Thanks guys for spending the day with me today. You have now finally seen our new house. We spent many, many months working on this. I am so happy to finally share it with you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and ring the bell and whatever it is that you guys do on YouTube. You guys are so great. It definitely motivates me to keep more content going. Bye guys. I've got stuff to do now, so see you later. Bye. And... People are talking. <laughs> do, 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 Kaya, we're showing our house to people today. You be nice and welcome everybody. Okay, okay.